Well, good morning, everybody. I'm Carolyn, your host, and welcome to Weekly Minis, your bite-sized workshop on the hottest acro topics. You can reference all of our previous Weekly Minis and more amazing content on our acrobatics channel on Acrobatic Arts channel on YouTube. If you have any questions while we're live, drop them in the comments, and we'll do our best to get Leah to answer those for you at the end of the presentation. If you know someone who would benefit from hearing about today's topic, and this is a hot topic, it's hot on demand. Uh, be sure to be a friend and click share on uh, click the share button on this post right now and let a friend know we're here. Today we are pleased to bring you acrobatic arts master teacher Leah Holiday with a bite-sized tutorial on three heli progressions. Leah has been teaching acro and dance for over 25 years. She was born and raised in Regina, Saskatchewan and studied dance and baton twirling at the Martin School of Dance. Not only was Leah known as a well-accomplished dancer, but she represented Canada in baton twirling at numerous, I think you can count 10 world championships as a soloist and team member. Leah has been with acrobatic arts for four years and she is a course conductor and examiner. Uh, Leah teaches dance, uh, acro, and uh, at the Dance Tech in High River. She also teaches master classes uh, in acro at acrobatic, at the, oh my goodness, mm, I'm gonna slow down. She teaches master classes at the Alberta Ballet for Acrobatic Arts. That's what I was trying to say. Good morning, Leah, welcome. Good morning, Carolyn. Thank you for that lovely intro, I appreciate it. Um, welcome everybody today. I'm so excited to be here and talk about heli cartwheels. Um, go ahead, Carolyn. I was going to say, we're thrilled to have you here. I was going to say, it is a hot topic and we have been anticipating this um, for quite a while. So I'm not going to get in the way. I'm going to let you introduce your demonstrator and I'm going to let you get on with the show. Take it away. Thank you so much. All right. Welcome everybody. Super excited today to do our acrobatic arts weekly minis and to talk about heli cartwheels. With me today, I have my demonstrator, Sawyer, right here. And Sawyer's been doing acro since she was pretty much uh, two or three years old. And she is working through the acrobatic arts syllabus and has actually just learned the heli cartwheel. So you're getting a very new and upfront version of how to learn and teach the heli cartwheel. All right, but before we get started, I will talk a little bit about um, the foundations for uh, the heli cartwheel. So one or many really important things is to, before you start teaching this, as this is more of an intermediate advanced skill, you want your dancer to be proficient in cartwheels on both sides, right and left, one hand cartwheels, close hand and far hand on both sides, as well as proficient in their front walkover on both sides. Okay, so those are the fundamentals. We also want our dancers to be very proficient in their handstand and hand balancing um, because they do have to sustain a handstand position while they're doing the heli. Before we get started with our demonstrations, we're going to walk through some progressions today. Um, and before we start that, we are going to show a clip of what the heli looks like, just in case you weren't sure. So I'm going to screen share and I'm going to show you a version of the heli car cartwheel. Now this is, can be found on the Acrobatic Arts Dance Resource Center. All right, here we go. So this is a dancer showing us a very proficient heli cartwheel. Beautiful, I'll have her do it one more time. Good, so you can see how it's a heli cartwheel because it passes through a helicopter type position and it passes through both the cartwheel and the front walkover. You can see that here in the video. One more time, there she goes. You can see how her legs cycle. So it looks a bit like a helicopter. All right, named for the same. Here we go. We're gonna start in with our progressions. And like I said previously, you have to have a proficient cartwheel. Now, when we're teaching the heli, you have to understand that both, ver both sides of both the cartwheel and the front walkover are essential because the heli cartwheel passes through. If you start on your left cartwheel, it will end in a right front walkover and vice versa. If you start in the right cartwheel, you're going to end in the right left front walkover. So having both of those skills on both sides is extremely important. Now, the first progression is all about learning the swoop. So when you saw the heli cartwheel in the video we just showed, you saw how the dancer's legs swooped down and around in a vertical fashion, in a clock-like fashion, if you will. So the first progression is all about starting the cartwheel and teaching our dancers how to swoop their leg in that vertical fashion. So Sawyer's so going to show us our first progression. This will begin 
in a tendu position and she's going to pass through her cartwheel. Now she's not going to actually do the front walkover just yet. She's going to end in a side sit position. So away you go, Sawyer. She's going to go up. It passes through the cartwheel position. The leg swoops around and she ends up in a sit position. Now you can see how it, she's establishing the rotation of the leg in that vertical pattern. And let's try it one more time, Sawyer, and go through nice and slowly with nice stretched legs. Leah, can you hear me? We can't hear you. So we lost you a bit ago, probably about a minute ago at the end of that first demonstration. And how is this? Is that, that better? Perfect. Yeah, we, I think everybody, do we have her back? Thank you for letting me know. I can't see the, the live. So. That's okay. I wasn't sure if it was me, but let's just give you a second to roll that back. We'll okay. just verify that everybody else can hear you now. Okay. Um, I'm all oh, test, test, one, two, three. Testing. Okay. <laughs> we are back. Thanks everybody for letting us know. Nothing like keeping it right. exciting and dramatic. If you could just roll it back uh, to, I think at the end of that first progression, um, that would be okay. great. We were still, yeah, we're still working on the first progression. So um, I'm not sure if you saw the difference between the vertical swoop and the horizontal swoop. So Sawyer will demonstrate that one more time. So Sawyer, vertical swoop. So this is what we're looking for, getting that leg down and around, swoop and sit. So the leg is coming down. Now the dancer needs to really use their core to pull up to get that leg to swoop around. Now Sawyer is going to demonstrate a not as good version of this so that you can see the difference between a vertical swoop and a horizontal swoop. So away you go Sawyer, horizontal swoop. There we go. Good. So you can see how our hip just turns in the socket like that, as opposed to coming down and swooping around. So we developed a little technique here to help with a visual for the dancer. So Sawyer's going to grab a tissue. You could use a string or a scarf or whatever you choose, whatever you have available in your studio for this. And she's going to tuck it between her toes. So she's tucking this between her toes and she's going to start in a tendu position. Now this would be on the swooping leg. So in this case, Sawyer is doing a left cartwheel. So her, her tissue is between her toes of her right foot because that's going to be the swooping leg. Away you go, Sawyer. And now she can visually see, look for your Kleenex, look for your Kleenex and come around. And that really helps Sawyer to visualize and see her foot come past her face because she thought she was swooping when she was horizontal, when she was learning this, but watching that tissue come past her face really helped. So that's the first progression and we call it the swoop and sit, sit to the side. Now the second progression is a swoop and sit with your foot up in the air facing um, sideways. You end up facing sideways. So we go, I'll have Sawyer demonstrate it. She comes through her cartwheel, her leg swoops down and around and sit. Now you can see how this is just learned. That was a little bit boppy or bouncy. We'd like that dancer to sit with a lot of control. So now you can see how her leg is passing through the vertical position. It's coming up and around back past 12 o'clock and then she ends up sitting. So we're using the entire clock. It goes around and sit. So try again, Sawyer and around, go around, swoop and sit. Now the timing of releasing the arm off the floor is really, really important. If the arm comes off the floor too soon, you'll see a bit of a bounce like Sawyer did in the first time. Um, whereas if she keeps her hand on the floor a little bit longer and takes her hand off as her leg goes up towards 12 o'clock, that works a lot better. So try one more time, Sawyer. And this is all about developing the swoop, around and swoop. Good, that was a better one, excellent. All right. Now you can also use the tissue on this one. You want to grab the tissue? We'll demonstrate that as well. And she can really see her leg pass by and sit position. 
So tendu, and watch how this tissue goes around, all the way around the clock and back up. It gives a really nice visual for the dancer and also for you as the teacher to really watch what's happening with the legs. And again, that dancer really needs to pull up through their core and around. And you can see, Sarah, can you go just a teeny tiny bit slower? You can see how the handstand technique and the ability to hold the handstand is so, so important. Away you go one more time, around nice and slow. And you see how she has to sustain through that handstand in a very slow cartwheel into the sit position. So again, going back to those fundamentals, it's so, so important that your dancer has a proficient cartwheel, proficient handstand, and then finally a proficient walkover on both sides. All right, getting into the actual heli now. So we showed you those two progressions. So around the clock, vertical to sit side and around the clock vertical to sit front. Now we're going to incorporate the walkover piece. There is a moment here where the dancer needs to change their hand positioning. So I'll have Sawyer go through it and I'll talk our way through it. Start in tondu and around she goes. She goes through cartwheel, her leg swoops down and around. She moves her hand and walk over and recover with her arms by her head. So you can see after her leg swoops down and it starts to go back up to the 12 o'clock position, she is moving her hand into a forward handstand so that she's ready to prepare into her front walkover. So in this case, Sawyer is starting with her tondu left and away you go, down, swoop, around, move the hand and walk over, good. Now, Sawyer, which hand are you moving when you do your handstand? Your left hand? So it's her left cartwheel and her left hand that she's moving. Now, if she were to go on the other side, do you want to give it a shot? Sawyer, also learn this on both sides, which is really excellent to have because you have to have a good cartwheel and a good walkover on both sides. So now if she goes into it from the right, she's also going to move her right hand to demonstrate that split handstand before the walkover. Away you go. So she converts from straddle over and up. Now you can see that that one's not as proficient. That's not her favorite side, but you can see how the leg cut across. So this isn't a bad thing because you're seeing the difference between the swooping 12 o'clock leg or six to 12 o'clock leg that goes round versus the one that cuts across the middle. And the bigger the swoop, the closer that toe swoops to the ground, the more beautiful this heli cartwheel is. So sorry, one more time, let's do the heli cartwheel and then we'll show how to spot it. So go around, it passes through cartwheel, swoop that foot down, move the hand and front walk over. Now the timing of that hand movement is really, really important. If the dancer moves the hand too soon or too late, then it can impact that heli cartwheel. So as the leg swoops down and goes up to 12 o'clock, that's when the dancer is going to move their hand into that forward handstand position to enter the walkover. Um, one more time, sir, nice and slow and go down, around, really swoop, whoop, and over. So you can see Sawyer's still working on that swoop. And obviously the more flexible your dancer is, the more that toe is gonna come down to the ground. So their splits are really, really important as well. Um, Sawyer, can you demonstrate the one where we did the swoop and we tried to get to the handstand? Okay, so now we're going to do a cartwheel and we're gonna pass through that straddle position. She's gonna swoop her down, hand, her leg down and up, back up to 12 o'clock. And she's going to try to move her hands just into hold a handstand. This is pretty tricky. We've been working on this. It's not perfect, but let's give it a shot and go. Down, around and handstand. Good. And then she can cartwheel out or front walk over out. But that just shows how the positioning of the leg has to go down and up into that handstand position. All right, now that you've seen the heli in that format and you've seen all of the progressions, um, they are a lot of work and they're not gonna happen in one day. Now we're gonna get up and I'm going to demonstrate how to spot the heli cartwheel. And it is very similar to a combination of what you would have learned in module one if you've taken it with your cartwheel, the hip hip, and then to finish up with the walk over in the basket carry. So Sawyer's gonna start in Tommy position and I'm ready for her and I'm going to catch her hips, hip, hip into her split position. So now you can see this. Now I'm going to take that leg and help her swoop it down and around. She moves her hand as leg comes up and front walk over and up. Good. And one more time, sir. Ready? We're going to go this way. Okay, good. We're practicing both sides. And go into that split. You can see this nice, lovely split. The leg swoops down and around and front walk over and up. Good. 
So that's how you would spot this. The spotting can also be found on the Acro Dance Resource Center as well. So just to conclude our three progressions, sorry, we'll show them one more time in quick order. So starting in tondu position, and she's going to do the swoop to sit to side, swoop and sit, excellent. So that's progression number one. Progression number two, she's going to go swoop, sit forward and go down, swoop that leg and sit forward. Good, a little more swoop on that one. And finally, the very last one is the heli progression. Show the handstand one first, actually. So she's going to do the swoop and handstand. So her leg goes down and around and handstand. Whoop, she didn't move her hand. Try that one one more time and go down, swoop. As the leg goes up, move the hand. Good girl, nice. And then finally, you can add in the full heli. Tondu, and away you go. Down, swoop, and around. Good, thank you, Sawyer. So you can see how that swoop didn't quite happen. So I would go back and put the tissue in her toe so that she can see it come past her face and watch for that tissue. One last time, I will show you the very proficient. So you've seen Sawyer do this as I just recently learned. Now I'm gonna go back to my screen share and I'm gonna show you the proficient heli cartwheel one more time. Here our dancer goes around, see that lovely swoop and up. And that's what it'll look like once they've practiced and really gained uh, mastery of this skill. All right, Carolyn, that is what I have for today. We can go to questions. Yes, of course. Thank you so much, Sawyer. We love seeing how you're developing with this um, this, uh, this move and it looks really, really good. And we love the progressions. We're getting a lot of feedback. People are happy to see that you are working on something and maybe not as proficient as the demonstrated video, but it gives people hope in helping them teach um, other, their students just like you. So um, we'll put it back to the teachers. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments. You have Leah here and Sawyer to answer your questions. Leah, um, the head office here in Calgary, Alberta at Acrobatic Arts is making a request. Uh, we'd like to see, yes, we'd like to see if you can show us how to, you, we appreciate that you showed us how to spot the heli. Can you show us uh, maybe some spotting of the progressions that you were showing? Like the cartwheel and the front walkover? Absolutely, yeah, please. Okay, here we go. So we talked about the cartwheel being very important and then the front walkover. So in the cartwheel, if you've taken your module one or if you haven't, you're going to learn it right now. We talk about using our hands and using the and touching the pelvis. So we're not ever touching any soft parts of the body. We want to touch the bony parts that are solid and foundational for the dancer. So we're protecting their, their integrity. So when we're spotting the cartwheel, we're using our hands in a C grip formation. Can you see that? My C grip hands? Good. Now we're taking those hips in our hands and that's why we're saying hip, hip, hooray when we finish. So Sawyer's gonna start in tondu position and I'm getting ready with my arms nice and strong and she's going to go hip, hip. You can see I have her pelvis. Finish her ray. Lovely. We'll go back the other way. So again, and I'm staying nice and close to my dancer. So remember whenever you're spotting your dancer, you're not standing so far away from them that you're reaching and harming yourself. You wanna have your elbows nice and close to your body and standing nice and close to your dancer. So again, so you're ready and go. Hip, hip, and hooray. Now we can get through that a little bit quicker if you're looking to spot your dancer faster and they're, you're just helping to support them at this point and go. Hip, hip, hooray. And it's very important that you maintain integrity with your dancer and holding them until they are standing. Now the front walkover, is also spotted very similar. So she's gonna start in tondu position. I'm going to catch her hip and then I'm going to grab her shoulder and uh, not grab, touch her shoulder. So we always have a technique hand and a safety hand. Our technique hand is to help them with the technique of the skill. And the safety hand is to help them um, achieve that with success without falling, protecting you and your dancer. And go, hip, hip, her, ray, good. Or not hip, hip, hooray. That was the cargo one. But I still grab her hip and shoulder. So one more time, hip, shoulder, and stand. Maintaining integrity till the end of the move. So those are your two progressive things before the heli cargo. And I'll show you really quickly the heli cargo spot one more time just to kind of put it all together in a picture for you. So here we go. We have the hip, hip. Now here's the technique part where we're swooping the leg. Now I'm going to finish with my hands on her shoulders and help her recover up. That helpful, Miss Carolyn? 
I think so. That is amazing. We have lots of people watching today. I know there's, like I said, lots of appreciation for you going through all of this. If you've never joined Miss um, Leah, Miss Leah, for one of our uh, Module One courses online or in person, um, or any of our course conductors, um, this gave you a really good insight to not only um, the skills and things that we work on, but how we break down our progressions and the um, expertise of our professionals here at Acrobatic Arts. That was amazing. Both of you thank you so so much um portia says that was so helpful thanks for showing the spotting and progressions again teachers if you have any questions now is your time um but again thank you so so much to both of you i think um, you've left a great resource for our teachers to access here and on the acro dance resource center i put the link for the acro dance resource center in the comments um, this also will live on our facebook page eventually um, but if you haven't yet if you're on the fence about our um, model module one courses or any of our workshops, um, please take advantage of this time and opportunity to work and learn all these skills um, that Miss um, Leah has taught us today. And, um, and then you can take that home to your home studio and teach it to your students. Leah, I don't think there's any further questions. Okay, well, I hope that means that we've done a great job explaining it and it was really thorough. I hope <laughs> I think it was really thorough. And um, Sawyer, you were an amazing demonstrator. We're so grateful to have you both. So thank you both for being here. Thank you. Thanks so much for having us. That was fun. Awesome. So if you're interested in expanding your studio's student population and enhancing dancer skills, results, potential, visit acrobaticarts.com for upcoming online and in-person opportunities. Our North American summer tour is coming. We are on the cusp of it. Uh, spots are going fast and uh, we don't want you to miss out. So we may be coming to a city near you or we may have an online opportunity that meets your schedule. So make sure you check out our website, reach out if you have any questions. We're happy to help you and help you get started. Thanks so much to Leah and Sawyer. Thank you teachers for joining us for this weekly mini. Join us next week when we present Miss Loren with an unboxing of our preschool toolbox and props for preschool acro dance. See you next week. Bye.